Okay, so this is part two of how to lay out. If you haven't watched my part one video yet, you should go check that out first. I'll put a link up here. So let's just start off by, I wanna go over just the process of a layout. So I break the process down into two phases. The first phase is when you commit horizontal in the air. And then the second phase is when you catch the disc and hopefully land safely. So in order to do phase one, you usually need to have a good amount of skill in phase two. Until you can land safely, it's going to be really scary to commit. But once you can trust that you're going to land safe, then being able to commit becomes very easy and you're going to be able to do it. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do drills to be building this technique in phase two. And then once you're able to do this, then you're gonna be able to lay out. So before we start, I just wanna emphasize safety. Layouts can definitely be dangerous if you can't take the fall right. So you wanna just make sure that you're diving at the level that you're at. I really do not recommend just running full speed and throwing your body. That's a really easy way to get injured. So we, we really wanna make sure that we're working on this slowly and safely. And when you're building layout technique, you wanna try to get reps in every day. So when you're doing a lot of layouts, you're going to start ripping your arms up and legs up if you don't wear padding. So you want to make sure that your arms and legs are covered so you can get more reps in. Okay, so here's how I like to work on layouts. So I like to build vertically, then horizontally, and then add speed. So what I like the first progression to be is to start from a crouching position. I don't really like starting from my knees because to me it just doesn't really feel like the way that it feels when I'm standing. So for me, I skip the knees and go straight to kind of a crouch. And then I work up slowly until I'm able to fall and catch the disc from a standing position. Once I can do it from a standing position, then I start trying to incorporate the leap. And then I'm trying to get horizontal. So then I'll start working very slowly, trying to get farther and farther and farther until I'm able to get a full static dive. A static dive means that you still had a foot on the ground when you were catching the disc. And then once you have a full range static, then you wanna work on being able to get a dynamic dive. And that means that you caught the disc when both of your feet were off the ground. So this means that you're getting more range. And you want to work up to this until you're able to get full range. And then once you're able to do that, then you can start adding speed into it. And then you wanna start just doing one step, two steps, three steps, four steps, five steps. And pretty soon, you're going to be able to do a full speed layout. Something to keep in mind when you're working on this is you wanna make sure that you are practicing falling on both sides. You don't want to get super dominant on one side because if the disc is to your right side and you can only fall on your left side, you're gonna have a problem. So. You wanna make sure that you're practicing falling on your left side, your right side, and your chest. You also wanna make sure that you can dive on either foot. You don't only wanna be able to take off with your left foot, you wanna make sure that you can dive with both of your feet. So if you are getting stuck at one of the progressions, you want to go back to the previous level and work from there. You don't wanna just keep repping the same progression level over and over and over because it's not going to give you very fast results. It's normally better to go back to the easier levels and get more confidence. And then by doing that, you're gonna be able to do the higher progression levels easier. So as you start putting momentum into your layout, the better your technique needs to be. It gets a lot harder once you start running faster because you're putting more force into the ground. So your grip technique needs to be better and your landing needs to be better. If you don't use a good grip or you're not landing in a soft way, it's gonna be really hard to catch the disc. So the more momentum that you put into the layout, the better your technique needs to be for your safety and for the catch. And that's gonna be it. So like this video if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and be sure to share this with anyone you think could benefit from it. This is Ultimate 101 and I'll see you next time.